Good afternoon, or oh, good morning, depends on what it is for you. But it's afternoon for me, it's five o'clock. How's it going? As you can see, I am down the shop today. Well, what have I been doing today? Absolutely nothing. Well, I have. I've been doing dribs and drabs of bits and pieces at home. But the majority, it's been just the normal washing and tidying up and stuff like that. As you see, I'm not at the garage. I believe I'm there tomorrow. But today, I am actually making some signs and some artwork bits and pieces. But I've got this big sign here to do. I say big. Relative, relative. So I've got that to do, and I've got some other bits and pieces. I've got lots of different bits and pieces to do. But not right this minute. I am now going to go meet up with Lisa and go and can't remember what now. Can't remember what we're doing. But we're going to do something, so I'll probably see you back down here in a second. Oh my days. If you're wondering why I'm filthy dirty, absolutely sweating buckets. No, I'm not doing signs, I know. Print shop and all. I've made a start on the sign. Well, when I say I've made a start on it, I peeled the backing off and, oh, it's not even there. And I've done the stuff of the, oh, stuff of that. I've done some artwork and other bits. I have been busy, but because I need to take the trailer home, because I need to take the trailer home um, so we can do uh, either one, do tip runs, and two, we need to be able to put stuff in it. Well, the problem I had when I collected it was it didn't matter too much um, when I collected it, um, but I was going to be obviously doing this trailer um, yeah, and converting it, which you'll see eventually. But anyway, the lights were broken on the back, so I got I had a light board which was in it. I don't know if you remember, if you've seen that vlog, I'm pretty sure the light board was sitting in it anyway. Well, the back lights are all broken. So I've just tried to take the old lights off. Well, I haven't tried, I've taken off the old lights and swapped them for the other ones. I haven't tested them yet because obviously Lisa's car's at home and that's the one that's got the tow ball on it. The Jag still hasn't got it. It's missing the actual ball hitch itself off of the back of the Jag. Don't know why. Don't know why people take things like that out of the cars, but it's not there anyway. So anyway, so I've put it on, but I could not get the rivets off. They riveted on the plate. It's obviously done from factory or I don't know whoever did it. The rivets, they are strong rivets. But anyway, I couldn't get them off. I've tried drilling them out and bear in mind, I've got all brand new drill bits of everything and it just would not go through it. My battery is a bit flat on, on the drill, changed the battery, tried different drill bits, could not get them out for love nor money. Time's cracking on, I haven't got time to be messing around. So I literally just took the took the plate and just went eh, bent them round just so I could get to the screw. Because the screws are on the back. I That doesn't seem, why would you do that? That's just a bit odd really. So why would you put screws through the back and then rivet the plate on? So then you've got to move the plate to change the light if you break it off, it's a bit stupid. Anyway, so now, obviously, it's not like that. But where I've been here, I've actually just put some screws in to strain it back up again a little bit. Because I'm not worried about it tonight, because obviously, I just want to get, finish that sign off, go home, get the car, come back, collect this, get it home. So, yeah. So yeah, so as you can see, I've put the lights on, but look what I did to it. <laughs> A proper, proper bent, this piece here, but I'm just going to lose this once. Once I've started taking this apart, I'm going to either straighten it out, put it back on, probably with some actual bolts or you know nut and bolt it. But look, you can see, just would not break off. Would not break off either. It's so annoying. Um, I've got another light there, another reflector. Um, I'm not quite sure what that's all about. But anyway, so the lights are on. The ones that came off the boards obviously you can't test them yet so I've just got to now quickly make up a number plate to go on there not that it really matters because obviously the cars are 
it's only a small trailer and the car's bigger. So in theory, it wouldn't really matter too much. It's all right in the daytime, I suppose. You wouldn't need to worry about too much. But at night, I'd rather have the lights on um, just because people don't see things at the best of time. So you know, at least that the way they can see it, sort of. But generally, because the car's bigger than the trailer, you can still read the number plate. Still read the number plate. You can still see the lights on the back of the car. So this trailer isn't really much of a trailer, if that makes sense. But obviously, you know what people are like. You know, I've done it. If you go to pull out behind a car, and it's a small trailer, you can't see that behind that car. And you actually pull out, you're like, oh. So having the lights work would probably be a good idea. So yeah, I've been doing that. That's why I'm hot and dirty. If you see that, I've got to stack my hands. Yeah, so anyway, that's done. I'm just gonna quick print out um, some letters, the number plate reg for the back, just so I can just stick them on that I have to do for now. And then I'm gonna get back on with this sign. Obviously everything's printed out, but because the trailer, I had it out the back here, um, because obviously I was planning to take it home anyway. Because I had the trailer here, so I had to move everything so I can get back to my table properly because obviously that board is fair size and the last thing I want to be doing is faffing around with it willy nilly out here when all the stuff and equipment is out of the back. That's the plan anyway, but it's getting late. It's getting late. It's not too late, it's earlier than I normally, normally am. I'm pleased, I feel like I have achieved something. Even though it looks terrible. But these things, you know, I don't care. Just only got to be able to go home and then go to do a tip runs. And uh, and obviously this trailer's being turned into something completely different anyway. So makes no odds. Yeah, because the latency got to be there probably by the time it's done. You wait. But by then it all goes to plan, it should be quite cool. Yeah, so. Anyway, that's done. I think I better make a drink. Speech in a bit. Lo and behold, I've only just remembered how I forgot. In the back of that trailer, there's only a number plate in there. Look at the state of it though. It's, you know, they've done a, quite a good little temporary job, but it's actually insulation tape. So we'll transform this then, shall we? into to this Ooh, shiny new number plate well it's not but you know what i mean so let's get it on that little trailer Ooh. result it already had holes in it so i just lined the holes back up done looks better than it hey looks more like a proper trailer now done Right, I'm gonna get tidied up. A little bit of time left, I'll try and get this sign finished, and then I'm gonna go home. So, speak to you in a bit. Oh, that's it, I ain't doing it anymore. I've had enough. So, I printed out everything, and we did everything, and set everything up for the sign. The sign just gotta be made up now, which is good. Obviously, the trailer's all done, except one thing I cleaned it out, <laughs> moved it, and cracked the new light up just put on. I just chipped the edge of it. Ah, just how it goes though. But it doesn't matter really, because it's only temporary. But yeah, so that's there. I was going to go and get the car and come back for it. But I will do that tomorrow now because, well, it's, it's late, it's quarter past 12 now, fun enough. So I'm going to go home. So I'm going to end today's vlog here. Um, like and subscribe, and I shall see you tomorrow. Bye for now.